Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so quick little hack fix workaround for you today. Um, this is something I was struggling with, so I thought I'd post as it took some trial and effort, trial and error, uh, and effort to get this working. Um, so scenario is I've got a small little mini PC that I'm playing a few games over, um, and it hasn't got a graphics card. It's got an Intel built-in UHD graphics uh, driver built into the processor itself and I'm connected via HDMI and um, I'm playing sound via that HDMI device from the display that I'm connected to. Now the issue is that in some games once you make them full screen, and I think this has something to do with the, uh, the uh, resolution that the game might be in, uh, you'll find that when you make the game full screen you lose all the sounds from that game. So the issue itself is with the Intel drivers. Um, it's been an issue for many years. It hasn't been fixed. And as far as we know, it won't ever be fixed. So um, I'm using a little hack, a little workaround third party tool in order to fix this problem. So what you're going to do if you're having this issue, you're uh, going to go to the internet, you're going to download from vb-audio.com slash cable, the VB cable virtual audio device. Download this driver pack 4.3, install it, follow the instructions, reboot the machine after the installation. And then what you're going to find is if we go to our sounds, is you're going to have this output device. Now what would normally be Intel display audio is changing it to the cable input. And on the input, we're changing it to cable output. Um, so essentially, we're going to have our audio running through this cable itself. Uh, now, the last piece of setup you need to do to actually get this working is you go to sounds, open sound settings, oh no, excuse me, sounds. Under sound, you see you've got your cable input, you make that the default device. Under recording, cable output, make that the default device. And then on the recording, under the cable output, go to properties. Um, and it's ad pro do do do. properties, listen, listen to this device. Play back through this device and make that your Intel display audio. So essentially what it's going to do is it's going to loop back through itself and it's going to play its listening out through the display. Um, it's the only way I found to get around this issue, but you'll find once you do this setup, you no longer have that problem of making it full screen and um, losing your sound over HDMI. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I want to say. I hope this helps someone. If you've got any questions, uh, pop them in the comments. Many thanks.